Summer is a time of extreme weather events when Australians turn to the Bureau of Meteorology for all important forecasts. Now the bomb has a new weapon to help make those forecasts even more accurate and long range. It's called Australis 2, a supercomputer which is shrouded in mystery. Here at the Bureau we have a supercomputer which we're very fortunate to have. Yeah, the supercomputer is essential to our work here at the Bureau. It helps feed into all of our forecasting processes. We've been on the trail of the Australis 2 supercomputer. Do you know where it is? Where is the Australis 2 supercomputer? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> they help us plan for the scorching hot and the soaking wet. The forecasters at the Bureau of Meteorology are some of the best in the world, and they say they're only going to get better when the long-awaited Australis 2 supercomputer comes online. There's been a lot said about this heavy-duty piece of hardware and some details that have been left unsaid, like where it is. So we're headed to the Bureau, and hopefully somebody there can answer that question. It's been a complicated journey for the Australis 2 which the government first budgeted $59 million for in 2015. After a cyber attack that year, the Bureau decided that before Australis 2 came online, a cyber security program called Robust would be put in place. Robust has taken more than eight years and blown out to a cost of $866 million. The new supercomputer Australis 2 that's coming online at the moment doesn't sound like much, but it, it does its calculations at, at you know per speed of 1.66 petaflops, but that's actually 1,660 million million calculations per second. Mike Logan is a general manager at the Bomb, or is that the Bureau? The agency recently spent $220,000 on a rebrand, hoping Australians would stop calling them the Bomb but the issue blew up. Are we allowed to call the Bureau the bomb these days? Yeah, you can call us. I mean, internally, we'll generally refer to ourselves as the Bureau, but um, it's fine to call us whatever people would like. With that sorted, this supercomputer, does it talk like Hal from the film 2001, A Space Odyssey? I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. It's Seb. Dave. This conversation can serve no purpose anymore. Again, not Dave, but maybe Mike has a better idea. What does the Australis 2 supercomputer actually do? Right now, for example, we can forecast four days ahead, what back in 2014 we could forecast two days ahead. And by bringing Australis 2 online and continually investing and evolving in supercomputing, we'll see that continuous improvement in forecasting accuracy keep going out into the future. It's Miriam Bradbury's job to come up with those forecasts, which we learn are more dynamic at this time of the year. Australia sees the vast majority of its severe weather from mid-spring to mid-autumn, so we often call this period the severe weather season. And given Miriam will rely on the supercomputer, maybe she can show it to us. Do you know where it is? I do not know where it is, no. Computer says no. And the forecast is cloudy for the director of the Bureau of Meteorology, Dr Andrew Johnson, who last week faced a storm front at Parliament House. The costs were more than the, the budget that we um, expected, so there's going to be ups and there's going to be up and downs. In September, the Bureau issued a warning that a tsunami was heading for our east coast. Turns out it was a glitch. Marine and Antarctic manager James Taylor. Unfortunately, there was something that just got through to our app. We weren't planning on that information to make it out to the app. And, uh, and unfortunately, that did create a little bit of confusion in, or, you know, in some pockets, a deep confusion in the community. So the risk of that happening again, now we know about it, is, uh, is extremely low. Apart from the false warnings, the Bureau's app has been a success story. Downloaded 14 million times with around 80 million visits per month and it's easier to find than the Australis 2, unless that's what's got the attention of our forecasters. Is this it? Is this the supercomputer? That's a television, Seb. <laughs> right, OK. A super television? It is pretty super. It shows <laughs> the whole country. <laughs> After some research, it seems the Australis 2 looks a bit like this, but good luck finding it 
as Mike finally explains. Jokes aside, um, obviously in the interest of national security, it, it's not really known where the location is by very many people, certainly I don't know it, lots of other people in the organisation don't know it, and that's just purely on the grounds of national security. This conversation can serve no purpose anymore. Goodbye.